Yo, grace and peace, it's your boy Freak going in for the glory, welcome back to the show, got some Black Ops 2, no, Black Ops 1 on deck, feels good for sure, got this AK-47, nice and gold, nice and fresh, nice and crispy, <laughs> and Black Ops 1, yo, my first Call of Duty, well actually not my first Call of Duty, my first full Call of Duty, uh, I started at Modern Warfare 2, but I joined that game late, you know, July, August of the following year, just before this game came out. And yeah, man, I was bad. I was bad. I was bad at Modern Warfare 2. I was bad during the first half of this game. And it was a bit of an adjustment, you know, I'll tell you that right now. Going backwards, not only was I dealing with retro graphics, because I'm going back from the 1, you know what I'm saying? Going from the 1 to the 360, you do notice uh, a graphical difference. Uh, when you go from the 360 to the 1, uh, things aren't that noticeable, probably because our eyes are used to the way the 360 looks. Um, but, you know, going backwards, you definitely notice <laughs> those retro graphics, yo. And it's not really easy to deal with. A little cloudy, you know what I'm saying? A little foggy. <laughs> but, yeah, so I, I always ran Ghost in this game, always ran a suppressor. So going back, playing legit, you know, it's a bit, <laughs> it was kind of weird, but... Uh, this was probably the last great Call of Duty, uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, not saying that there won't be any great ones to come about later, but as far as what I'm saying, uh, the last one to date, uh, man. And one of the biggest contributors to that is because I feel like Treyarch wasn't wasn't afraid to make radical changes to the game. Uh, you know, they made a lot of radical changes moving from Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops 1. Uh, you know, they took a lot of mistakes that Infinity War made in that game and kind of transformed it a little bit, made things a lot more simpler. Uh, the kill streaks, you know, they took the nuke out of the game. You know, you had this 25 kill streak, game ending kill streak, and then they topped off things with the <laughs> 11 kill dogs, which I pick up right there nice and fresh. But, uh, you know, that's the way they ran things. And, you know, they also took out stopping power and juggernaut. Uh, which is a good thing, obviously, that made Ghost extremely powerful, but, uh, you know, hey. <laughs> you know, they weren't afraid to make radical changes is basically my point. And so, yeah, I, I do think pretty fondly of this game for sure. Um, and hopefully they do make some uh, <laughs> radical changes in the next, call, <laughs> the next Call of Duty. Let's go Sledgehammer. But, and speaking of Sledgehammer, man, there was a leak today <laughs> there was a leak today the boy drifter i don't know how many of you guys know who drifter is but he dropped a little bit of information about sledgehammers next call of duty and or first call of duty that is coming out in november and hey you know a piece of me i'm not big on conspiracy theories but a piece of me thinks activision did it on purpose you know what i'm saying leak them a little bit of information <laughs> titanfall next week nah i'm just playing hey you know, that is definitely something I would do if I was a CEO or something. I wouldn't try to fake it behind a leak, but I would talk about my new game. You know what I'm saying? I would talk about my new game and try to steal a little bit of thunder from Titanfall. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, and then Activision. Activision is doing a lot. Of, they're trying to generate some revenue for sure, man. You know, we had the ghost camos, what, last week. Got the Black Ops 2 camos coming out tomorrow. Got a free demo coming out this weekend for Call of Duty Ghosts, people can try the game for free, multiplayer and extinction. I don't think they've ever done that. So hey, that gotta tell you something, you know what I'm saying? Radical changes are necessary at this point. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Is it is? Is it too little too late? Who knows? I definitely want to thank you guys for all the support on my last video. You guys, uh, you know, responded very positively to my ideas especially the streak meter oh, man hashtag streak meter man let's go uh, it probably won't get implemented the way I see it sledgehammers game is probably you know already finished you know they're probably just dealing with balancing and tweaking and doing little things but you know who knows what they're doing but anyway I'm going ham in this gameplay, yo. Picked up a second pair of dogs, a second blackbird. Everything's working out for me except the host leaves. And you already know how that go. 
But anyway, drop a thumbs up from your boy. Hope you guys enjoyed. You guys take it easy. And God bless, yo. Peace.